This exercise is a movement that I've been working on in my own body to target a large number of muscles and tissues on the front surface of the body. So that includes the whole quadricep complex, all the muscles across the front of the hip joint, then the deeper hip flexor muscles. You'll get a strong pulling sensation through all the lower abdomen region and also big sensations through this part here in both planes, so vertically and horizontally. It's a combination movement which combines a lunge, um, strong spinal extensive, active spinal extension. You'll be trying really hard to pull yourself into spinal extension. So just a side note there, if your lower back doesn't like that movement particularly, you might want to go very cautiously with this movement the first few times. And the third movement we'll be adding is a rotation trying to focus the rotation in the middle back or the thoracic spine. And that's what really gives you this strong sensation of opening through here. Plus, as with all our exercises, we'll try and breathe into those bits that we're trying to open maximally. So you may well feel a very strong connection to the diaphragm when you add the rotation part. So I'll show you um, facing away from camera on the first side and then I'll turn around and show you the other view. So first of all, we get into a lunge. Typically when we're trying to get through this front line of the body, we're in a standard lunge, we're coming through, and then we can add all sorts of movements of the same arm as a kneeling leg, and we can add some sideways ones. But we're not gonna do it that way for this exercise. Instead, we're gonna come down and lean on the arm that's the same side as the kneeling knee. You might have to play around with where you need this in terms of distance away from the back knee and also away from the front foot. And you'll be, resting on this arm but not sagging into it. In fact, you'll be actively pressing up and this way to try and get the whole lengthening effect through here. The other arm, it's gonna do a big sweeping action around like this, so that's that whole chest opening and begins the rotation movement. Then I am actively driving this hand through the floor and pushing it away from me because that brings me into a very strong spinal extension. In combination with pushing through that support arm on the floor, I'm really actively trying to lift the chest up and forward. If you want to include the whole neck extension movement, you can plus rotation and then really strongly pull this reaching arm around to bring you into a rotation and then breathe as deeply as you can everywhere through this line of the body and right around through the rotation through the ribs there. So that's version number one. Version number two, I'll just give you a quick view from this angle, we'll see it better when I turn around. We put the hand on the knee here and use that as a stronger levering force to increase the rotation. So two versions of the same exercise. Contraction here is a few things we're doing at the same time. You would do your ordinary knee dragging movement at the same time as you're trying to shorten through the front of the body. So it'll be a combination knee drag with ab abdominal contraction. As well with this hand, you would be trying to drag the hand back towards this foot. Anything you can do to close and shorten the movement that you've produced in the initial stretch. So I'll go back to this position. I find this arm reaching around long lever more effective than the hand on the knee. So I'm trying to do knee drag, abdominal curl, pull the support hand in towards the midline of the body. Five, four, three, two, one and then re-stretch, sink, sink deeper in the lunge, push through, lift the chest, arch the back, and reach around. And then breathe as deeply as you can into everywhere that's under stretch. Good. All right, and come out, press back, and I will change over sides so that you'll see the opposite view. So one hand is for support. You're not collapsing onto that arm. That arm's doing a lot of work to move you through into extension and rotation. Version number one was this arm reaching all the way through. So the support arm is really strongly lifting the chest, pushing it up and out that way towards the wall in front of you, and a big rotation movement 
You can play with adding a full neck extension as well if that helps. And then the second version, which some of you f might find even more intense because you've got a strong pushing force, is to really pull on the rotation movement and breathe deeply. I'll just give you a visual of where I'm particularly breathing into. It's right through this line. It's a strong stretch all the way through the front of the hip and the hip flexors, but this area here gives you that strong connection to the diaphragm there. It's a big breathe. Breathe deeply into that part of the rib cage. We'll do the contraction, so it's a knee drag with an abdominal curl. With the support arm, you're trying to pull it back towards the midline of the body. Brace yourself. Like all contractions, we don't want any movement to happen. Do that for five, stop. And more lunge, more extension, more rotation. Breathe deeply. Excellent. Okay. And unwind. So have a play with that sequence and leave us some comments. Since we filmed and released the lunge with uh, spinal extension and thoracic rotation last week, I've been playing with it myself and I wanted to show you a slightly different version. The one we did last time was supporting on a hand and adding a big movement or pushing like this. What I've found is that Rather than supporting on this hand on the floor like so, if you can come down to an elbow support, or you could have a pad here so that you don't have to go all the way down to the floor and get a good firm grasp of that ankle, now you've got a much stronger pulling force through that bottom arm, which really does pull on the rotation in the spine through that bottom shoulder. And then you've got the two options of pressing down through this hand on the knee to really emphasize the thoracic rotation. Second version would be to do this big sweeping movement and you can add the full neck extension as well. So not only is this bottom shoulder being pulled through, you're still adding the vector of a nice long spine so there is still the component of the spinal extension as well. Big deep breaths. Plus I'm getting the added bonus of a piriformis stretch on this front legs hip. So try that variation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.